Hello, today I'm going to go over the Idle Stopper V2 installation for a 2023 Honda Accord. Uh, this Idle Stopper module will disable your idle stop at each startup for you. Uh, it doesn't permanently turn the system off and still allows you to use it if you want, but it does turn it off for you every time you start the vehicle. So let's get to installing this. It's a very easy install on this car. So let's uh, get right to it. Uh, on this console here, you're going to have a plastic trim that runs up the side. And we're going to take a pry tool or something and stick it in this gap right here. And we're going to lift up this panel. So you can just reach in here and kind of reach in there and grab up on the panel. And that's going to loosen the side strip a little bit and it's going to reduce or loosen this. It's also going to loosen the shifter panel here. So what we're going to do is separate the shifter panel from the side panel here and be able to lift up on the shifter panel itself. Now you can take your pry tool and go on the other side and pop it up over here as well just like that and then you can lift the whole shifter panel from the back side and just unclip it there's some clips in the front as well so we're going to lift up here and here and we don't have to remove this panel all the way uh, we can simply just lift it up and put it off to the side uh, so you can lift it up and put it just like this to get to our connection point we're going to do is get to the bottom side of the idle stop off switch here so we're going to lift up on this panel as it's loose and we're going to unplug the wire connector that's underneath here uh, it's this little wire connector here. You're going to push this little latch tab in. And while you hold it in, you're going to pull down on the connector. And it's going to pull right out of there. And then the next connection we're going to go after is the console 12-volt power socket here. And that's going to be down here. Uh, to get this connector off, you have, do have a little tab to push in as well. It is right on here, right here. You push this little tab in while you wiggle this connector off. You're going to push the tab in and pull the connector off. It's going to look just like this. That we've got our power socket unplugged we can hook up our idle stopper module the factory wire here is going to plug into this t-shape uh, it only goes in one way and you're going to clip it together and it's going to have a small gap about this much and what we're going to do is take the foam strip that came in the idle stopper package and we're going to wrap it around that connection just to cover that gap and to add some security to the connection so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up just like this and then the other side, the black connector that was coming out of the idle stopper will plug back into the power socket down here. So we're gonna go ahead and, sorry if there's no light, but we're gonna plug the T-shaped connector back in down there. So we've got those two connections made. Uh, next thing we're gonna go after is the white connectors on the idle stopper module. This one will plug directly into the bottom of the idle stop off switch that you unplugged earlier. So we're just gonna go ahead and snap that connection in here. And then this side over here is going to plug into the factory wire that we had unplugged previously. That's going to clip in just like that. Now the zip tie is included in the package, so you can wire tie all of this up nicely to one of the harnesses in here. And there's also another foam strip in case you want to pad the module or rest it up against something. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just put this in here right now for these purposes, and we're going to put this back together. Now that we've got our module installed, we can get our shifter panel all set back in. And all we're going to do is just rest it back into its clip spots. And you're simply just going to push it back down like that and make sure it's all nice and clipped in. All right, so now that everything's installed and back together, we're going to go ahead and start the vehicle up and test it. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up here. And we're going to wait about five to seven seconds and the idle stop off light should illuminate in the bottom left corner over by the temperature display. So we'll wait for it while it does its thing and see there it goes right there so now it says idle stop off so you can also reach down and push the button at any time and turn it back on and turn it off as you please uh, even if you leave it on and you turn off your car and get out and restart it it will automatically default to off so it will do the same procedure it'll wait for the vehicle to start up and then after a few seconds it will disable the start stop system for you so you don't have to there it was right there and that's all I have for you today, so thanks for watching this video.